societal dysfunction. The system operates from a series of biases, stereotypes, and profiles. But unless we change the mindset of culture, the mindset that creates the system will still remain. We've talked about how it can impact civilian life. The two African-American men at Starbucks who were arrested for not ordering coffee. We've talked about... <laughs> <laughs> the myths, the legends. I mean, like this guy's this guy's a fucking moron, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking idiot, man. Europeans, yeah, as a general rule, have no fucking clue about the problems here. They're like, oh, American gun violence, and they don't understand that ninety percent of it is caused by you know less than ten. Arrested for not ordering coffee. We've talked about the African American lady at the Waffle House that was manhandled by three policemen and arrested. Those <laughs> things don't need to happen. Any kind of racism can be prevented. It's a preventable. What about the bitch who got punched in the face at the oh, target? It needs to be discussed. Stop. <laughs> it's funny how they he was anything he was, that doesn't go a black person's way is racism. <laughs> he was manhandled by three police because it took three police to manhandle him because he wouldn't submit to the police. Yeah, it's just it's just amazing, man, how like anything that doesn't go a black person's way, like anything, no matter what it is, it's just literally okay to call that racism. That's the new racism that reacting to things and paying for them to make them okay. We have civil suits. Rodney King is a prime example. In nineteen ninety one, he was the first African American that was videoed being beaten brutally by police. They gave him a large payment, but the health problems from being victimized outweighed the amount of money he was given. He died prematurely. It's happening to African Americans in their, in their everyday life. Didn't they that guy yeah, Rodney like, lived such a healthy life, too. Didn't that guy like drive through the streets and, and, and kill somebody before he got dragged out of there and beaten, and the cops had to chase him for miles and miles and miles, GTA style? Yeah how they feel they may be pulled over at any time. This has come from a fear. Listen, I never feel like I'm going to be pulled over. It never crosses my mind. <laughs> Whatever well, I'm you can tell. With. No, you, you, can, you can tell that some people are constantly worried about getting pulled over because of how they try as hard as possible to make themselves very inconspicuous. They drive extremely cautiously. They never throw garbage out there. They never do anything to call attention to themselves. They never play music okay. loud. Their windows are never tinted. They do everything they possibly can to escape attention. They never so you can tell the that they're terrified. Is always, their registration is always up to date. Oh, they impeccable. They never have headlines impeccable. out. They never have bumpers hanging off, causing damage. Causing no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous other motorists. Uh, just nothing like that. They never shoot. No, up that's the that's the people. talk. Oh, absolutely. No, they don't yell. They don't. They don't. You know, uh, go through uh, stop signs or anything like that. They usually. <laughs> I mean, you have to. It look. It just in order to survive, you have to pay up your registration like years in advance, man. As a no, sun person. And they, and they don't they don't hang out of uh, of cars and uh, burn out uh, spinning around blocking roads all the time. No, they don't do that. When they're asked to do things by the officer, they always respond with respect and courtesy. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 mad that this guy comes on. I want to read the comments of what this guy said. Things that have gone on for decades, for centuries, they're very very real. There's a mindset that creates that. I've explained it to you. It's a mindset not only in a barista, but in a policeman. It can be in any. Yeah, it's called, it I didn't do nothing. If you're white and you're reacting to this, chances are that's implicit. You may have implicit biases you're not even aware of. You've oh, had them shit. from your doorstep so often that you don't critique them. You don't question them. We need to be accountable. We need to stop reacting and making it okay. Colin Kaepernick stood up for a cause, not to disrespect the flag. We need to stop hiding behind patriotism. It's a fake patriotism if we don't want justice at the same time. We need to stop hiding behind our fancy settlements from corporations and businesses to make it okay for people to be shot because it's not okay. A life has no value. Okay, A life has no value. It's totally... Get valuable. the hell back to UK and shut up. Of dollars. <laughs> Let's look at his portfolio, see what he's investing in. If you're white, we need to be accountable individually, collectively for our... Yeah, wait, I'm, I missed it. Who's this guy? Smug. He's just like that other smug British prick. He's on well, this is part. I mean, this is wrong. this is par for the course for you know according to the script. I mean, what the script is is that 
if you're a glider, you do not have permission to react according to the evidence of your senses and what's obviously happening in front of you. Past him. Yes, he passed him. Um, so, yeah, yeah, he'd be marked by gremlins in like 0.5 seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. And he yeah. still wouldn't learn his lesson. He didn't get any fucking. You think he believes that shit? I mean, no one believes it. I'm not. I mean, he went too hard. I don't think. I don't think he believes it. That's what I'm saying. It's like when, when, when you're repeating the script that hard verbatim. It's like I don't think he really believes that. You know, it's like he's being put up for it. But look, most of the liberal gliders, they. It's very easy to say they can't possibly believe it because they cross the street when a sun person's coming toward. But, dude, I grew up liberal, man. They believe it. They allow themselves, they tell themselves that these things are true, that discrimination is real, that everybody's acting the same, but it's unconscious bias. They have to tell themselves that because they have to enact it convincingly in order not to be, you know, under the gun. And so it's they just any any cognitive dissonance that might arise from a difference between what they're supposed to believe and what they see, they just stuff it down into the subconscious, man. They really